Good evening from the sports desk. Now the Springboks have plenty to play for in the second match of their end of year tour. South Africa take on France in Marseille tomorrow. The city historically hosted Bafana Bafana's first ever match in a FIFA World Cup finals. The box are looking for a much better result than what their football counterparts achieved back in 1998. Senior sports writer Liam Dalcom is in Marseille and joins us live via Zoom. A very good evening to you, Liam. Before we get into the on-the-pitch action, let's talk about this initiative by France to try and get South Africans to attend the World Cup next year. Talk to me a little bit about that. Hi, good evening. Andy. Yes, they're very keen uh, for South Africans and I suppose people from around the world, rugby enthusiasts, to, to flock to France next year uh, for this global event. Uh, obviously, South Africa does have historical links uh, with France. Um, and, you know, as World Cup hosts, they are very keen to have uh, people from the country that last won the, the World Cup to come to the country and experience, uh, you know, the culture and everything that they've got to offer, uh, whether that's through um, through cuisine, whether that's through art and culture. Uh, obviously, there are some sporting ties, um, and they've yeah they've put together a couple of initiatives to um, to get South Africans across next year. Liam, all of us in studio are so jealous that you're out in France right now. But let's get to the action. <laughs> the, the, boxer, the boxer play again was say, but the captain's run was in too long. Can you explain why that was? Uh, yes, it was in uh, Toulon. Uh, Toulon is about an hour and a quarter in a car uh, yeah. away from Marseille from the start velodrome. Um, and they've just felt that it's, uh, you know, a day before the game that that kind of travel is not something they necessarily want to undertake. Um, mm. uh, you know, traditionally, I mean, teams want to uh, practice in the facility or get, to have the captains done at the ground where they are going to play the game uh, to get accustomed to it, acclimatized to it. Uh, it's especially essential for, for goal kickers because they can get a proper sense uh, of what conditions will be like, well, you know, whether it's the turf, whether it's the yeah. wind, um how that gusts in a stadium um and it's you know it's one of those things where you know that you don't want to be caught unaware and it's a stadium they haven't really they have played there before they the last time they played there was in 2007 but none of the, the current players obviously would have would have played in that match um so only two matches ever by south africa in that particular venue but that stadium has much changed uh it underwent huge redevelopment uh uh, in 2014, 2016, so it has yeah. a roof now, so it's a, it's a much changed venue. Um, but I, I also I need to add that mm. uh, in terms of the you know what the French want South Africans to do is not just in this instance certainly uh, Toulon is hosting the Springboks, uh, and it's very much this region uh, that that you know is keen to get South Africans not just to experience Marseille where the game is being played, but next year uh, the Springboks will be based in Toulon. Uh, as I said, it's like an hour and 15 minutes away from here. Yeah. Um, and, and they're very keen for people to experience it. And it's, you know, it's it's easy to get here. It's a, it's a 10 and a half hour flight on Air France, another hour and a half uh, mm -hmm. to fly to the south of France. So, um, you know, from that perspective, th this match also very much a dry run for, for the Springboks because they basically simulating situations for game match, uh, not just match conditions, but certainly practice conditions that they will encounter next year. But it, it has been a very interesting decision by them to to have the captains run uh, in Toulon and not yeah. at start uh, Balladrome. Yeah, speaking about the fact that it is a bit of a dry run, now with France hosting the World Cup next year, obviously, I can't help but wonder how much of a fact-finding mission this, this trip is as well. It very much is. Uh, I mean, they they staying in a hotel in Toulon, and that's a little bit out of out of the the, the town itself. Um, it's only ten k's out, but to get there is a bit of a trek because you're going on to narrow streets. Uh, it's in a suburban area. Mm. Uh, it's a fantastic hotel, make no mistake, and they will get some privacy. Uh, Springbok coaches always go for hotels that uh, are away from the city centre. Maybe it's a way of. Uh, uh, keeping players away from mischief. I don't know, um, <laughs> but certainly they will have their privacy there in you know one way or the other. But it's a, it's a fantastic hotel. It's you know uh, lots of facilities around it. They're very happy with it. They will train at at Toulon. Uh, we were there early in the week, and they've got world class facilities. It's um, they've got training facilities there that will be the envy of most rugby institutions. I'm not just talking about clubs, but mm. uh, national federations. So the Springboks are very happy to be there, be based there. They would have learned a lot this week from from their time there, um, and also, you know, uh, I suppose they'll get a, a proper sense tomorrow what start Velodrome is going to be like because, uh, as I said earlier, it's only this third match there, but they haven't experienced the stadium 
uh, like it is in its yeah. current iteration. Speaking about uh, tomorrow, there has been a late change to the team. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, Jasper Visa has had to withdraw. He was selected in the team as the number eight. Uh, he's very much the, the man that uh, the Springboks are keen, you know, for him to follow in the footsteps of, of Dwayne Vermeer. And Dwayne Vermeer was not selected for this tour, which meant that Jasper Visa was the next guy in. Uh, he suffered concussion. He hasn't recovered from it, so he's uh, has to go through the to the protocols. And Kwaka Smith will come into the side uh, at number eight. Uh, Kwaka Smith has played number eight with distinction, uh, not just at franchise level in, in South Africa, but he, you know, he's, he's a player that's hugely capable in the back row, can slot into different positions. Um, hasn't played a lot of number eight in the last while, mm -hmm. but um, he's, he's an experienced enough player. Uh, he's certainly one of those guys that's, he's not a Dwayne from Lenny, he's certainly not a, a, a Yas Previsa. He's one of those guys that will, it can give them a lot of thrust of the back of the scrum, but maybe does not have the physical dimensions of a Dwayne Vermeulen, but he, he offers you a lot. Mm. Uh, Kroch Asmut, certainly when he's come off the bench for the spring, which has been a hugely valuable player over the last while. Uh, and him being thrust into this new role will be very interesting. A lot has been said, Liam, about the boxers' game plan. And realistically, and I want to emphasize on realistically speaking, what can they do to be less predictable? With the World Cup less than a year away, what can they do? I don't think they will deviate much from the script. The Springboks have pretty much been a team of um, this is what we're about. We do these things well and see if you can stop us. Um, so they, they make little changes, but it's, they never drift too far from from what they do well, sort of from the, 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 the pillars that keep their game together. Obviously, they always have a strong set piece. They've got a, a, a well thought out a, a kicking game. They defend really well. They apply a lot of pressure through their defense and force the opposition into errors and you know play a territorial game and mm. basically suffocate them. That doesn't always work. Certainly didn't work against Ireland last week. It, I think Ireland pretty much showed that they may need to develop, the Springboks may need to develop another gear uh, over the next year to, uh, you know, to be adequately prepared for the World Cup because, you know, in a way they, I don't want to say they are predictable, in, in some ways they are, but uh, Ireland were able to counter them effectively, certainly at scrum time they did that, and they they also stopped the South African more last week, which was quite crucial. South Africa had some, a couple of uh, proper scoring opportunities from, from malls, but Ireland defended really well. And, you know, if you can take those two things away from the Springboks, uh, who then also uh, almost famously uh, missed a couple of crucial kicks, if you put all those things together, then suddenly they are under pressure. So a couple of things for them to work on in this game. Uh, mm -hmm. France will apply similar pressures on them. So uh, it'll be very interesting to see how the Springboks have um, ad adjusted, if I can put it that way, in the last week. And you did mention uh, kicking, and there have been some issues uh, in the goal-kicking department. Are you surprised to see Mani Libok not starting? He's on the bench. Uh, in a way, not surprised, because um, for them to just to start with a, with a new fly-off like that would, would have been a bit of a shock. That's not the way they operate. So they'll, they'll try and ease him in. Uh, Damon Willems has, of course, played at Flower for them a couple of times uh, this season. Um, two away matches in the rugby championship. He was very successful, uh, star star role in both those games. Um, but last week in Dublin, maybe not as effective. Uh, certainly from the kicking team, um, not just him, but also Ches Cheslin Cole. We didn't, um, you know, they didn't perform to the level that we've we've come to expect. Um, if you look at uh, Damien Williams and the way he has developed, I mean, he's very much the guy that should be playing in this game. Should start at fly off. But uh, given the kicking woes the Springboks have, I won't be surprised that Mani Libok uh, will play the bulk of mm. the second half. Um, certainly, I think if they're under pressure, that will be the case. All right, we've spoken a lot about the box. Liam, what should we expect from France tomorrow? Well, they are very much the form side in the world. I know Ireland are the, uh, the number one, uh, the top-ranked team in the world, but France have won the last 11 matches straight. Uh, they're on a fantastic run of form, probably the best form they've shown in many a year. Uh, they've beaten just about every team over the last uh, four or five years, except the Springboks. They haven't played the Springboks since 2018, and the Springboks have a very good record against them. The Springboks have won the last seven games against France, but it, as I said, the two teams haven't played each other uh, since 2018. France have gone on this run now, the successful run of the last uh, year, year and a half, um, and they've, they've basically 
taken care of most sides. I mean, they had a bit of a scare last weekend against uh, Australia. Mm. Australia find ways of playing well against France, uh, ironically enough. Um, France a bit lucky to get out of jail then, but it also showed that, you know, they play with a lot of resolve. They don't go away uh, like they maybe did in the past. Um, there's a lot more mental fortitude. Um, and there are many factors to their game, many elements to their game that has improved. Uh, yeah, they certainly have the physicality, they have the defense, they, in terms of organization, they've got Sean Edwards who's, who's helped them there. They've got a good kicking game. Uh, South Africa's Floxel here, helping them in that department. Uh, so they are much improved side under Fabian yeah. Galtier. And as things stand now, they will be very difficult to beat at next year's World Cup. It will be one of those things mm. where people will probably ask the question, uh, will they feel the pressure playing at home? I think most most teams will feel yeah. pressure playing at home in a World Cup. But I think this this French team is a lot stronger than uh, you know previous French teams that have either hosted the World Cup or or have gone to big events. Yeah, I think that's why it's so good that we are playing them tomorrow, just to suss ourselves out against them. Then lastly from me, Liam, you travel with the, tweet, with the team quite often. Has there been a change to the typical face of the fan that travels to see the box? Over the years, very much so. I think when South Africa came out of readmission, um, the, you know, your typical Springbok fan had a, had a particular yeah. look. Um, and, and that look has changed, uh, not just in, in terms of color of skin, but also a lot more women travel to, to big sporting events and they, they you know, follow the Springboks. Uh, that was said if you went to the last World, if you think of the last World Cup in, in Tokyo, in Japan, um, a lot of, of, of female supporters, um, you know, clicking along and doing their own thing uh, in support of the Springboks. Um, and I suspect for next year's World Cup, uh, a lot more will do so because uh, France will be a lot easier to get to. It's a lot easier to fly to, to Paris than it is to Tokyo. Uh, we're more or less in the same time zone. Uh, you won't have jet lag. Um, mm. And in terms of it being a destination, you've got uh, Paris and all the wonderful things it has to offer. It has uh, the Côte d'Azur in the, in, the, in the south. And uh, in terms of uh, things that will make South Africans feel at home, I think in terms of the, the geography and the food, the climate even uh, they'll feel very much at home um and, and i think that will only if you think of how the the face of uh springbok fans have changed over the years i think that will only enhance it yeah. in other words more people will feel happy to get onto a plane and go and support the box uh, all right i'm gonna year. i'm gonna have to leave with there liam thank you so much for your time and enjoy the match tomorrow that is sports writer liam dalcom who is out in france for the box clash against the world cup host next year all